uh, growing up, every kid in every school in America is told that America was a melting pot, you know, and, and we had, you know, the Statue of Liberty was was this big symbol of coming to a great nation of, of multicultural, you know, uh, foundations. I wish that was true. I wish, you know, that was was true today. I wish it was true back then. But if we look at the reality of it, you know, uh, we, we've had issues with you know, cultural diversity and race diversity within American culture since the beginning. But military brats, we've only grown up in that idealism, right? Yeah. I grew up for the first 10 years of my life in, in Okinawa, Japan, um, at Kadena Air Force Base. And we were fortunate enough to be able to be close enough to go visit my father's village in the Philippines and, and come back and visit other places but I'm half Filipino and half Mexican. And I grew up in a household in Asia. And all of my friends were, you know, mixed race kids or, you know, none of us thought any different about skin color or, you know, uh, cultural stigmas of, oh, well, that's because that person's black or that's because that person's Mexican. You know, I didn't know any of that. So when we first moved to the States, and and it was like I lived in Florida um, and being half and having the last name somewhat but my last name coming from my Filipino side and not growing up speaking Spanish like it was all of a sudden there was this weird sense of ostracization you know we were we were different and I would make friends with whoever would be, be friends because that's what you grow up with and you you if somebody did something different than you you've grown up in as a military brat you know families do things different yeah right and so so that's just an accepted okay we're that i just accept it it's just different it's not bad it's not good it's just different yeah. um yeah. you know uh so so you know growing up there and then suddenly coming to the states it was culture shock of you know what do you mean i can't be friends with that guy because he's black what do you mean i can't be friends i can't date you because i'm not colombian like you know, those, those different things were just so polarizing to me. Um, and, and now that I think about it out loud, probably really started like the, the, my quest or this path that I'm on now with, with community service, um, because the idealism of the American dream, I think, is real. Hear more at championsforveterans.com.